Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys, my lovely Geminis? I hope you guys are staying safe. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. And uh, without further ado, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this remaining of the month in regards to love and romance. How are you guys dealing with these energies, Gemini? How are you feeling? Oh, I see you guys very focused. All right, we have the lover's card, the four of wands, the four of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the three of cups, and the king of pentacles. All right. All right, Geminis, you may be dealing with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, for others of you, you may be dealing with an Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You have the Lover's card and the Four of Wands. So, and the Four of Pentacles. So, a lot of stability coming in for you guys. Stability where perhaps you probably lost hope or you felt like things were not going to work out or turn out the way you really wanted them to. Um, it could have been that in the process of this connection or this relationship there was a lot of obstacles to overcome now what they're saying is you have to force so what they're trying to acknowledge in this reading is that there's been a lot of need for self-growth on both sides not just you but the partner as well um, there is definitely reconciliation for some of you guys if there's been some type of temporary separation for others of you if there was some type of distancing between you and the partner um, it's like there was a need to separate, right, to grow, to be able to see clearly and concisely what it is that you both want as individuals, to be able to come together and set in motion this union or this relationship. Now, the lovers does represent your energy, Gemini, but it can also represent feeling like there has to be a choice to be made. For some of you guys, the Four of Wands is a representation of your desires, Gemini, the desire to find stability for marriage for some of you guys, for others of you, uh, just to stabilize the relationship. With the Four of Pentacles having the need or the desire for structure for something long term. Where are we going with this relationship? Are we making plans together to move forward in the future? Are we on the same page is what they're saying. And this was necessary. Now the page of pentacles represents the partner, how the partner is viewing the situation. There could have been, like I said, a temporary separation or some type of distancing now for those of you guys that are married it doesn't necessarily mean like a separation it could just mean that both of you guys were kind of in your own world uh or in your own head trying to process or trying to understand these changes that are happening or unfolding but with the page of pentacles as you can see here he's holding the pentacle very protective very they see they see you as a person of value they see you as an achievement. They see you as like putting you on a pedestal. You're valuable to them. And that's how they were perceiving you or perceiving the relationship. Now with the three of cups, there could have been one of you guys was probably feeling like the other wasn't putting too much effort or they were taking this relationship too lightly, or one of you is very flirtatious, and they probably grew tired of it, because if you can see here, the King of Pentacles is looking towards the Three of Cups. So they were viewing you as this delicate flower, right? <laughs> Whether you're a man or a female, they seen you as something of worthiness. But on your pursuit of perhaps trying to test them, perhaps trying to see how much they cared for you, 
you started to have a little too much fun or flirting or trying to create some type of jealousy, trying to get a rise out of them. And they're over here sitting like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to deal with this nonsense. I'm not going to deal with this, you know, trying to get a rise out of me. Like this could be a mature energy. So you may be dealing with an older person for some of you guys. For others of you, it could be that they're just very immature type of energy. That's if this is not you, the one that's immature, Gemini. It goes both ways because it's a general reading. So it's vice versa. But what they're saying is, they grew tired of seeing you act as if you didn't care, but he's still holding on to that pentacle, meaning he still has feelings or she still has feelings. She's still keeping you close to his heart or to her heart. They could be very stubborn, but I definitely do see them coming back around or trying to communicate or wanting to put forth the effort of fighting for this relationship. Now, this could have been, for those of you guys that are married, this could have been a situation where someone, perhaps, there was mistrust in the relationship. And it could have been because one or the other has a very flirtatious eye. And they grew tired of it. But there is a renewal here. There is... And this could have been something that was necessary for them as well. Because if they are carrying a lot of insecurities from past relationships or obstacles or blockages, I should say, that they haven't overcame, like possessiveness, like jealousy, um, that type of energy, then with the planet alignments that we have right now, there was a need for them to acknowledge that, to come to terms with that, and to try to better themselves, to grow, right, to spiritually grow, so that they can come back around and you guys can get it right this time. Now, for those of you that are single out there, it could represent that you were dealing with almost the same type of scenario, but what they're saying here is someone in this relationship is very immature. Whether it was you or whether it was your partner or the person of your interest, that was very busy trying to get your attention or get a rise out of you through jealousy, through showing you that they got it like that, or whether it was you trying to show them you got it like that. But someone needs to grow in this relationship. Well, both need to grow. But what they're saying is that who is it going to be? The one that takes the step towards trying to rebuild this connection or this relationship. Because there is a promise for reconciliation here. And if this was you that has a tendency to test people's limits, to test them to see if you can get a rise out of them, to see if they can react, to see how much you care for them, them not reacting or acting as if there's no reaction doesn't mean it doesn't bother them. So that's an immature way to try to get a rise out of your partner or to see how interested they are. It's so much more simplistic to be completely honest and transparent. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of understanding. Uh, there's definitely reconciliation here, coming together, being able to get on the same page. But again, there's going to be a need to put prides aside, and this is on both sides, you and the partner. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Till then, you guys have an awesome Hallow's Eve. Bye.